Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org. My partner went on holiday abroad. He bought a torch. He came back to England. He got stopped at customs. They searched his bag. They said that there was a torch in his bag and said that this is no torch. They then arrested him, um, told him he had to appear at the police station to be charged. He appeared at the police station five months later. Five months? Five months. Where they charged him with a section 51AA firearms act. So this torch, was it a gun? an expert which is how they charge, became to charge him and it turns out it could, could be adapted or have things put into it to make it a torch taser but he bought it as a torch. He went and sought legal advice, two barristers became involved um, and the solicitor each giving different legal opinions. On one hearing, no barrister actually arrived at the court to represent him. All confidence was lost when the solicitor, on one hand, said to us, we stand a chance of succeeding with this case. Then he changed his mind. Then both barristers gave different opinions. So all confidence was lost and he decided to represent himself. He represented himself in court and unfortunately the judge passed a five year prison sentence on him. Five years? Five year prison sentence. For a torch? For a torch. What, what, what was that called? What was the, the reasoning behind that? They asked the jury only two questions. Because of the nature of the 51AA charge, they only have to ask the jury two questions. Did the person have it, which is possession, and was it disguised? But this was a torch. This worked as a torch, and this was a torch. And they are the only two questions that the jury are led by the judge to answer. And he got five years? And he got five years. That is outrageous. Okay, thanks for sharing the story. Free TV in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.